Okay, let's get started in our uh, grounded seat. I just have like really two short quotes on self love, which is something we should focus on every day. But especially I guess I'm feeling it, especially today, I guess kind of talked about it with um, everybody, Ryan and when I just finished my 10 day kitchery cleanse and I'm feeling elevated. Feel like I can lift up <laughs> blast off. So it's like two short quotes here. So allow yourself to find that grounded seat and just closing your eyes and just begin to take that few deep breaths in and out through the nose. Really begin to ground yourself here. Feeling that earth beneath you and allowing that foundation to really lift the crown of the head up. Try to relax your shoulders, open up your chest. And a couple of deep breaths in and out through the nose. Just really feel that breath moving in and out. These are very short quotes. First one is, self-love is creating space in your life to heal your body and mind. Self-love is creating space in your life to heal your body and mind. And the other one is, the more we love ourselves, the more easily prosperity and miracles can flow into our lives. Self-love has the power to release all blocks. The more we love ourselves, the more easily prosperity and miracles can flow into our lives. Self-love has the power to release all blocks. So I really enjoyed those two by Young Pueblo in Word. Let's take some deep breaths into the heart center, beginning to bring yourself back into this space and maybe allowing yourself to just take a moment to just think about your intention, maybe for the day or for this practice. How do you want to feel? What do you want to accomplish? Allow yourself to just breathe that into your heart center. Let's start to move into our child's pose. So coming down, opening up your knees, bringing those toes together, and just take your time getting there. You know, no need to rush and in, into any posture at all. Just really listen to your body. Allow yourself to melt down into the floor, bringing that forehead down. And just use the breath. You just allow yourself to open up, feeling the hips open, breathe into them, just relax all the muscles, no need to strain. And then just allowing your arms to reach forward a bit here, feeling the elongation in your spine, feeling your chest moving down, and then just open and close the hands and the fingers. So really wide, open them up, and then close them up pretty tight. Breathe. And then start to move your hands and wrists. So then moving them side to side, up and down, just starting to lubricate the wrists for all the typing and scrolling and mousing that you're going to be doing, possibly, or whatever you're doing, gardening. And then start to reach your fingers forward just a little bit more. So really begin to elongate that spine sinking your hips down. And then slowly let's come up into tabletop. So coming on onto your hands and knees, allowing that core to be nice and tight into Uddiya Bandha. And then we're going to go ahead and just see how you feel this morning. You can move into cat and cow or you can just do some free movement. So you guys know how to move your body. Again, just thinking about holding that core in while you're doing it. And then you can move side to side. You can kind of move into your cat and cow. Maybe even rolling around the body into whatever feels good for you.
always nice to stretch the wrists by leaning forward a little bit here. Make sure that your shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Sinking down maybe into your left hip as you reach forward for that nice stretch. And then opposite side. Nice to slowly wake up the body. And then let's go ahead and stretch our toes out. So sinking back, the toes tucked under. Coming up to the knees if that feels okay for you. Rocking side to side. Really allow those toes to open. You guys are probably pretty good at this by now. Remember how painful it was? Next time, maybe you guys can join Scott's yin yoga class and we can make you do this for three to five minutes. <laughs> Breathe. And then slowly, let's bring our hands down. Now I'm going to deter you guys from going to that class. <laughs> he doesn't always do that. All right, and then slowly let's move into downward facing dog. So let's hold that core in and then slowly start to lift the hips up. So plant your hands down, all 10 fingers, the palms of the flat hands flat, and then lift, lift, lift your tailbone all the way up to the ceiling. Push the ground away with your hands and then let's begin to pedal the feet. So think about your Udiya Bandha, navel coming up, Mula Bandha, pelvic floor, moving up. And then sending the tailbone up, feeling that really elongation of the spine and relax the head, the neck, the shoulders. And then slowly, let's bring the heels down towards the ground. It doesn't have to touch. And then really begin to feel the stretch, the whole body stretch here. Maybe even rocking side to side. You don't have to stay stagnant in any posture. Moving that breath up and down the spine. And then begin to walk the feet towards the wrists, the back of the wrists, feet about hip width distance apart. Really, really engage that core, especially because you're bending forward. And then just release your head down. Shake it all out. And grab opposite elbows here for ragdoll. It's a good time to think about that mula bandha. Again, I think I'm going to start doing a series again on the chakras. We did that um, in the beginning. So do practices that help different areas of the chakras. So this one, you really want to think about that root chakra, so which is at the base, the pelvic floor. Raise it up and then rocking side to side here. As you ground your feet, feel that stretch in the back of your legs. Feel it in your glutes. Breathe and feel your spine just elongating the crown of your head coming down towards the floor. And as you root your feet down, let's come back to the center and then slowly, again, Udya Bandha lifting up all the way into Tadasana, mountain pose, rolling your shoulders back. Maybe give it a couple of rows here in this direction. And let's go ahead and roll it in the opposite direction. Again, thinking about your nice, strong mountain pose. And then thinking about it, maybe, you know, when you're standing in line or standing washing the dishes, how are you standing? And just giving yourself a moment to bring awareness to how you're standing so that you can have proper alignment. As you inhale, let's reach our arms all the way up. Dropping your heart and head back. Reaching up, reaching over, relax the shoulders, ground the feet. Open up that chest and then as you exhale, let's slowly, slowly come down all the way back into that forward bend. So try to keep that back flat. So I think I've said this before, but it's better to bend your knees and have your back flat than to straighten the knees and have your back rounded. Right, so just look down at your toes, holding that core in. And we're going to do that halfway lift. So hands can either be on the floor or on your shins, right under your knees. Relax your shoulders, really press your chest forward. Flatten that back. 
and the legs are moving towards the back of the room. Tailbone is lifting up, breathe here. And as you exhale, let's slowly come down, bringing your hands to the floor, bending the knees, stepping that right foot back into low lunge, bringing the right knee down, adjusting that front foot. Hips are nice and forward here, squaring those hips, breathing, opening up. Should feel good, breathing into it. And then slowly, if it feels okay to you, let's start to drop our heart and head back, relax the shoulders, breathe. And then exhale, let's slowly come down, bringing your hands to the floor, left foot to meet the right, plank or tabletop. Let's relax the shoulders away from the ears, broaden the chest. We're going to move forward onto our wrists just a little bit, tuck the elbows into the body, hold that core in, and with control, slowly lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Keep your hands where they are, release the tops of your feet, tuck your elbows into the body. Inhale, let's press up into Cobra. Moving that chest forward, keep pressing your chest forward. Pelvis and legs nice and strong, grounded onto the floor. Breathe here. Feeling that slight pinching sensation in that lower back area. And then exhale, let's slowly move into downward facing dog. So now you're warmed up just a little bit more here. So allowing yourself to really start to feel the stretch in the dog, pushing the ground away. And then thinking again about releasing the shoulders away from the ears. And then see if you can bring your hands just a little bit closer. So somewhere in between downward facing dog and forward bend. And then see how it feels for you to lift your left hand all the way up. And don't forget Uriya Bandha. And then slowly bring your hand over to the right ankle. So you might have to bring yourself a little bit closer or your knee. A little bit of a twist here. As you look up towards your right armpit. Breathe here. Feel that stretch, don't forget to try to ground your feet. Plant that right hand down and breathe. Look all the way up. And slowly release that hand, lifting it all the way up again and then bringing it down next to that right hand. Take a breath here and then inhale. Let's lift that right hand up, looking up towards the ceiling, holding that core in. And then exhale, slowly bringing that hand either over to the left ankle, left knee, wherever you can grab. And you're still in the downward facing dog with your legs moving back and the hips moving up. Breathe here. And then slowly, let's lift that right arm up as you release it. And then slowly bring down the right hand Move your hands forward just a little bit back into your downward facing dog. And let's go ahead and just bend that left knee and bring that right heel down. So don't forget to try to keep your arms straight and then go ahead and really bring that right butt cheek, the right glute all the way up towards the ceiling, pressing the leg all the way back, feeling that nice stretch on the right side of your leg and kind of move around here, shake it out. And then let's go ahead and do the other side, the left leg coming down, the heel coming down. Feeling that stretch here in the back of your left leg, all the way down to the calf and the ankle. Breathe. And then slowly bring both heels down. We're gonna lift that right foot up as you inhale, and then slowly bend at the knee, and then bring that right foot between the hands, dropping the left foot, and then lunging those hips forward. A little variation in our sun salutations this morning. Feeling inspired, you guys are like, uh-oh. <laughs> Drop your heart and head back. And breathe here. Hips forward, feel a nice strip in your, um, nice flex in your hip flexor. And then slowly come forward. Let's bring the left foot to meet the right. Back into forward bend. Give yourself a moment, a couple of breaths and this really Great posture, thinking about lifting the tailbone up. And just feel with each breath, just feel maybe a millimeter of yourself coming down, stretching out the backs of your legs. 
think most people want to say that their hamstrings are pretty tight. So let's release them. Again, try not to muscle through. Just send your breath to relax those muscles. And then push the ground away with your feet as you inhale. Let's lift all the way up, reaching up, dropping the heart and head back, up and over. And then as you exhale, let's bring the palms to the heart center and bring the hands to the side and just let your breath come back to you. Take a moment. And then we're gonna move into some salutations on the left side, but we're gonna move a little bit faster. And we will do a variation in the lunges. As we inhale, let's lift our arms all the way up. And then exhale down into forward bend. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back, chest open. And exhale, let's bring that left foot back. Left knee down, lunging forward here. We're gonna go ahead and straighten out that right foot. So bring your hands down, flex that right foot, press the chest forward. The more you flex your foot, the more you're gonna feel it. Breathe. Slowly bring that right foot down. Let's bring the hands forward and then bring that right foot to meet the left into your plank or tabletop. Nice strong plank here, holding that core in, bringing the hips down and then leaning forward onto the wrists and then tucking the elbows into the body. Hold the core and then slowly lower yourself all the way down. Releasing the tops of your feet, tucking the elbows into the body. Let's straighten out our arms here. So micro bend in the arms, pressing that chest forward, relaxing the shoulders. So just roll the shoulders back towards your shoulder blades and then just look forward and breathe. Curling the toes under, exhale into downward facing dog. You can still walk your dog out if that feels good for you. Just make sure you're planting those hands down, externally rotating those shoulders so the armpits begin to face each other. Start to bring those heels down. And as you inhale, let's lift that left foot all the way up. And then exhale, bring the foot between the hands, drop the right knee, and then lunge the hips forward. As you inhale, dropping the heart and head back. Squeeze towards the midline to find your balance. And then slowly as you exhale, let's bring the hands down. This time we're gonna straighten out the left leg, flexing the left foot. And again, try to bring your chest forward. So again, tendency to kind of round the spine here. But again, press the chest forward. Try to keep that back nice and flat. And then bring that left foot down, right foot to meet the left, back into our forward bend. Maybe you're coming down a little bit more now. Breathe into it, sending the hips up, pressing the ground away, inhale. Let's lift all the way up. And then exhale, bringing the hands to the heart center, releasing the hands and just, again, just noticing how you feel. Just take a moment to even close your eyes maybe. And noticing. bodily sensations, emotional sensations. We're gonna move into triangle. So if you want to bring your block with you, you can hold on to your block if that's helpful for you for triangle pose. We're just gonna step our left foot out and move towards the left. So put the block in your left hand if you're using one. And the right foot about a 45 degree angle and then keep reaching forward with your left arm so really feel that stretch right inside of your left groin here and sending the hips away from you want to really elongate the spine too so i'm not trying to compress here want to open up the chest really extend 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 and reach until you can't reach and then bring that block down so either here 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 you can use any level you'd like 
or if you want to, you can just bring your hand over to the, the ankle, the shin, wherever you can bring it down to the floor. But you want to make sure your legs are wide enough. So the leg width should be about one leg length, one of your legs, not my leg, because that wouldn't be very far. <laughs> but keep kicking your hips back and really feel your spine elongating. Maybe bringing your hand to the hip, or if it feels okay, let's bring it up towards the ceiling. Again, just twist here. There's a little twist going on here. You want to really root down your feet, especially that right pinky toe, the blade of the right foot. And then again, think about Uddiya Bandha. Think about Mula Bandha. And breathe here. When you think about Mula Bandha, you might be able to find another little twist. Hold everything in and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Reach up with your hand. And then slowly, let's bring that right hand down, framing that left foot. We're going to bend the right knee, a uh, left knee. Bring the left foot to meet the right. We're going to move into a vinyasa, which is basically part of the sun salutation, the chaturanga, which is tucking the elbows in, leaning forward, coming all the way down. And you could always do a hover here if you want to, if you feel like you are wanting to try that. And then moving into either cobra, with your pelvis down, or you can do up dog. Up dog just means that your thighs are thighs and legs are lifted. Breathe here. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. And if it's a lot of exertion for you, then you can always take a nice big deep inhale through the nose and then exhale out with a big sigh. And breathe. Feel that nice stretch. And then slowly, let's walk our feet towards our hands. Hold that core in and then slowly come up. And take a breath and then we'll do the other side. So if you're wanting to use a block, put the block in your right hand. This time the right foot points forward towards the right side of the mat and then the left foot at a 45 degree angle. And then start to reach forward. Keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching. Again, just think about your um, leg width. A lot of people don't open up their legs wide enough because they're afraid that they're not going to have enough muscle strength here. We're going to bring the block down. Bring your hand down. Again, hips moving away from you. Spine is elongating. Hand is either at the hip. We're reaching up towards the ceiling, and then you're finding that really great rotation. Again, Uddiya Bandha, Mula Bandha. And just breathe here. Plant those, those feet down. Reach up with that left hand. And breathe. Elongating that spine. Twisting just a little bit more, breathing into it. And then slowly as you exhale, let's bring that right hand down. You can bend that right knee, bringing the right hand next to that left right foot and then moving into vinyasa. So chaturanga, as you exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Use that lion's breath with the tongue sticking out and exhaling to exert, to release that exertion. And then slowly let's walk our feet behind the wrists. This is a really great core exercise too. So holding that core in, keeping your hands down on the floor. Um, if it's down on the floor, you can always use blocks. If your hands don't come all the way down to the floor, using the blocks. And then just bring your toes to your wrists. So just kicking, holding that core in, just tapping your toes to the back of your wrists is going to really strengthen that core. Again, you want to think about your Uddiya Bandha, Mula Bandha. And then slowly press the ground away. As you inhale, slowly roll all the way up, roll the shoulders back, and take a breath. Whew. 
next one. <laughs> we'll shake everything out. And then we're gonna move into a balancing practice. So if you need a chair or a wall near you, um, you can get that. We're gonna go into eagle. So this is a fun one. We're gonna bring our legs together, toes and heels touching, and then squeezing, squeezing the legs together. Imagine squeezing that block. And then slowly we're going to bend at the knees. So again, try to keep your um, chest lifted here. I'll just move to the side so you can see. So there's a little bend. You're gonna imaginary chair that you're sitting on. And then bring your palms to the heart center. We're going to bring our weight onto the left foot and then bring that right foot and then wrap it around. So I'm gonna look forward so I don't get lost because when you want to do a balancing practice, you wanna make sure that you find that focus in front of you, that dristy something, hopefully that's not moving around too much. Keep your chest lifted and then just try to wrap that right leg around as much as you can. You wanna really squeeze those legs together. And if you fall out, it's okay. Just come back, pick it up. And then if you have the balance, again, think about Udiya Bandha, Mula Bandha, as you have the balance, bringing the arms all the way up and then slowly bringing the left elbow underneath the right, cross wrap and twist here. So you can be here, you can be here, or you can wrap. You bring the elbows down, but keep your chest lifted and then keep sinking your hips down. Hold that core, squeeze towards the midline. And don't forget to breathe here. Try to relax those facial muscles. Come down just a little bit lower with your chest open. And as you inhale, let's lift the arms up, release. And as you exhale, let's bring the leg down and then shake it out. You guys are like, no more cleanses for you. You're driving us crazy. <laughs> it's good for us. Okay, so we're going to do the other side. So I'll face this way so you can get into it. So again, bring your toes and heels together, tightening that core. Start to sink your hips down and then bring the weight. So you can lift that left foot up and bring the weight onto the right foot. And then as you lift that left foot, start to squeeze, squeeze those legs together. Breathing, try to bring that right hip forward just a little bit. Open up that chest. And as you inhale, let's lift the arms up. And as you exhale, let's bring the right elbow underneath the left. Cross wrap twist to wherever you're at. But try to relax those shoulders away from the ears. Keep opening up that chest and then sink your body down. Breathe here. Feel the crown of your head lifting, grounding the feet holding towards your midline, squeezing it all together. Breathe here. Sink down just a little bit more. And then slowly inhale, lift the arms up, release. And as you exhale, release the legs. And shake it on out, breathe. Moving into opening up the legs here, let your toes trace out. And just a little bit of kicking the hips side to side with your chest lifted, so just breathing here, feeling that stretch. And then allowing yourself to come to the center and let's go ahead and move forward here. Bringing your chest down, keep that back flat, keep your head lifted. Move your tailbone back and up. And then slowly come all the way down. So if you need blocks to put your hands down, you can bring the blocks with you. And then slowly just feel that whole spine just coming down towards the floor here. And we don't wanna use gravity to help us with our stretches. Again, thinking about Udiya Bandha, Mula Bandha, that whole spine elongating. Inhale into halfway lift. So keep your hands planted on the floor. And then we're just going to lift ourselves up to flatten the back and open up the chest. Try to look up as far as you can. Really feeling that whole back elongating. Breathe. 
And as you exhale, slowly release. And then we're going to begin to bend the knees here. And then start to sink your hips down and then bringing yourself side to side with your knees bent. So breathe here. Opening up those hips. Bring your feet a little bit closer together and then sink your hips down, bring your booty down and move into a squat, malasana. So squatting down, bringing your elbows to the inside of your knees, lifting the chest, looking forward here, breathing. And then let's slowly lower ourselves all the way down here. Shake out the legs, breathe here. I'm gonna move into Pachimottanasana, forward fold. So let's move the fleshy parts of our glutes away from us, holding that core in. Let's start to just open and close the toes here. So just move around the toes, pointing and flexing the feet, making nice circles in one direction, opposite direction. And again, you want to feel yourself sitting in front of your tailbone. Legs are nice and grounded, holding that core in, opening up that chest, and then slowly start to lower yourself down, walking your hands or sliding them down your legs. See if you can grab onto your knees or your ankles, toes even. Again, press the chest forward. Keep your back nice and flat as you look forward. And just use breath and to just in the beginning, maybe it takes a little bit for your body to just open up here again. The breath is used to relax those muscles. And each time you relax them, you can use the strength of your arms just a little bit to help you use your strength for flexibility. Let's go ahead and relax the head here, but keep your back flat. Breathing with each breath, you're elongating the spine with the inhale and with the exhale, coming down a little bit. Always maintaining the thought of the Uddiya Bandha and with the Mula Bandha, the internal rotation of the thighs, splitting those sitting bones apart. Just imagine that I'm behind you, pushing down on your lower back, pressing that back down so that your chest moves forward. Just imagine that I'm there with both my hands behind your back. Breathe. Grounding the legs and slowly coming all the way up. And as you exhale, take a breath. We're going to move into. So we're going to bring both knees up, bending them towards your chest. Try to get it nice and tight and try to open up your chest. So press your chest forward towards your knees. And we're going to wrap the left arm around both knees, bringing that right hand down. If, there's, if it's more handy for you to have a block right underneath your right hand, you can do that. But just bring it right down at the base of your tailbone. Inhale to elongate the spine again, pressing that chest forward. And then exhale, slowly start to twist over to the right. So relax the shoulders, look over to the right. Don't forget to breathe as you elongate the spine with the inhale. And as you exhale, using the leverage of the left hand to twist and twist. And keep twisting and twisting and twisting. And then exhale, slowly come back to the center, taking a breath and then wrapping your right arm. So get, get yourself nice and tight in there, compressing yourself. And again, try to straighten out your back by pressing your chest forward, bringing that left hand back as you inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, twist all the way over to the left as you relax the shoulders. Keep breathing, using the strength of the right hand this time to help you twist just a little bit more. Elongating the spine with the inhale. 
and then exhale to twist and twist and twist then slowly coming back to the center releasing the legs and shake it out and let's go ahead and bring our hands behind us fingers pointing away from you and you can either keep your legs straight or bend the knees we're going to move into reverse tabletop so whichever is more comfortable for you bending the knees is a little easier we're going to inhale lift the hips all the way up so use the strength of your hands your feet open up your chest try not to drop your heart and head back here try to just look keep looking forward but again you want to make sure you're squeezing towards the midline and imagine squeezing that block between your legs and breathe keep opening up the chest heart is lifting up towards the ceiling keep lifting the heart up lifting the heart up and then slowly let's lower all the way down and then just take a moment here to roll onto our bellies we're coming down onto the belly we're going to have cactus arms or i guess goal post arms relaxing the chin down bringing your toes and heels together here breathe And we're going to move into just a little bit of dynamic movement. So that just means you're going to move with the breath. So as you inhale, we're going to lift up the chest, press the feet and hips down onto the floor. And as you exhale, we're going to bring ourselves back down again. So squeeze those legs together as you inhale, lift up, press the chest forward, look ahead. And as you exhale, come down. Don't forget to relax those shoulders. Inhale again lift up maybe just a little bit higher use your back strength exhale release one more time as you inhale lift and lift and lift and then exhale release relax your legs and just rest your cheek on the mat for just a moment Bringing the chin to the mat and then extending the arms this time, bringing the toes and heels together. And then this time we're going to inhale, lift everything up, the toes, the, the chest, the arms, and then exhale, come down. Inhale, elongate the whole spine, extend those legs back, reach in opposite directions, the hands, and then exhale coming all the way down inhale lift up maybe a little higher lift up the chest lift up the legs and then exhale come down last time as you inhale coming up flying high and then exhale come all the way down bring the chin to the floor bring your arms to the side and then resting your opposite cheek on the mat and just breathe here Slowly bring the chin to the mat. And we're going to reach behind us, bending the knees, grabbing your toes. So we're moving into our bow pose. I know how much you guys love it. Try to bring those knees together to touch to start. And either you're grabbing one foot or you're grabbing two feet. We're going to do it twice either way. Actually, we're going to move into dynamic movement. So we're going to do dynamic movement twice. So again, you want to relax those shoulders, but really, really use a tight grip on your feet. Inhale to kick your feet into your hands. Keep kicking and reaching. Exhale, coming down. Relax those shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, kick up, lift those thighs up, kick into the hands. And exhale, come down. One more time as you inhale, let's lift up reach up and then exhale slowly come down releasing the legs resting your cheek on the mat and taking a breath and we'll go ahead and do it again so either both feet or the opposite foot 
grab those toes and try to bring your hands and fingers together, all five fingers touching. And again, as you inhale, let's lift up and kick up. And then exhale, release. So as you're kicking up, don't forget to squeeze those knees together. Inhale, kick up. And exhale, release. Last time. Inhale, kick those hands, kick those feet into those hands, lift those thighs up, open up the chest, and exhale all the way down. Slowly releasing, relaxing the hands and resting the cheeks as you squeeze and heal. If you feel good, you can do a reverse windshield wiping. You can bring your feet up and just let your legs come down to one side and the other side. Slowly release, take a breath, bring your chin to the mat, and then slowly start to lift yourself up into a seated position. So um, Japanese style, sitting down on your knees. And we're just going to slowly start to open up the knees and open up the feet, moving into the fixed firm pose. If you need a block underneath here for support, but you can open up your knees as much as you need. So the more you open up your knees, but you want to try to keep your ankles right next to your hips here. So open up your knees really wide if you need to, to help bring your hips down. The idea is to try to get your hips down between your feet. So this is a really great stretch for your ankles, your knees, and breathe here. So if it feels okay to you, just depending on your flexibility, First step would be to bring your knees a little closer and see how that feels. So that's the next step. If you can bring your knees a little bit closer to you and it feels okay for you to come down and open up, releasing your elbows down to the floor. That's another step. So just breathe here, your chest is open. And then maybe you're just right here and that's great. Maybe you feel okay coming all the way down to the floor. Again, everybody is different, so don't compare yourself. And again, everybody just try to see if you can think about that Udya Bandha and the Mula Bandha especially. So you want to kind of squeeze that block internally and feel the, that rotation coming in. So there's a squeezing and a rotation and then a lifting of the pelvic bone or the pelvic floor. Just keep your chest open here. If you're down on the floor, you're just going to grab the opposite elbows. So just don't forget to breathe into it, just to relax those facial muscles. I know this is a pretty tough pose for many people as everybody has pretty tight Vs. So you wanna lift your chest up here, and breathe, keep opening up that chest. And you wanna be really careful when coming out of this. So again, you wanna bring your hands to your feet and then just lift yourself up onto your elbows first and then up to your hands and then come forward first and then you can release and shake it out this time we're going to move into the tortoise pose so we're going to bring ourselves down here onto our heels so just sit japanese style like this and then you're going to inhale lift the arms up reach up and then see if you can bring the palms together to touch and then just cross the thumbs and again, you want to hold that core in, squeezing those legs together. Elongate the spine as you inhale, and then exhale, coming all the way down. So this is going to be great core strengthening. So try to keep your chest, press chest open, and then slowly lower yourself all the way down to the floor until your forehead comes down. So it's kind of like a child's pose. But you want to really reach forward with the arms and try to sink your hips down. So it's an active posture of stretching the spine, reaching the arms forward, and then bringing those hips down and breathe. Holding that core in and squeezing those legs together, slowly start to lift yourself up with your arms above your head. 
And once you make it all the way up, let's relax the arms down and take a breath. Very nice. We're going to move into a cobra posture. So again, we're going to lift up onto our knees and then feet will be a little bit apart. So about hip width distance apart. And then just bring your hands again to those back pockets in your jeans and then slowly start to open up that chest and just keep opening up the chest. You want to elongate the spine and lift your heart up to the ceiling. Drop your heart and head back. Just keep releasing and relaxing and breathe here. Heart is lifted. Maybe you can reach back. Feel for your heels. Again, you want to make sure that you're keeping your heart lifted. Think about squeezing that block. And even if you're like right here, this is perfect. As long as you're feeling that stretch in your heart. And then exhale, slowly release. And then come down into child's pose. And just take a breath. Slowly starting to allow yourself to move over onto the left side of your body, feeling this twist here into child's pose, a little bit of a twist moving up, looking up towards the ceiling starting to bring your left shoulder down towards the floor. Don't forget to breathe, elongating that spine. Feel that great stretch, reach the arm forward. And then slowly let's roll back to the center, reaching both arms forward. Take a breath here and then slowly let's roll over onto the right side. Reach that arm forward and then lift up and look up towards the ceiling over your left shoulder. Breathe. Slowly come back to the center. Take a breath and then let's move onto the floor. Moving into happy baby here. So take your time grabbing for the outside blades of your feet, flexing the feet, opening up the hips, elbows on the inside of your knees. Press those knees in. And just rocking from side to side or lengthening out the leg. If you need extra stretch in your hamstrings, you can slowly press the heel up. But again, take, a, take your time. Just really be careful. Don't strain any muscles here. Be the opposite of what we're trying to do. And just rocking back and forth. And then just letting your legs come down, your feet come down to the floor. Go ahead and you can move into those windshield wipers if you like that. And then the right knee down, other side. Should feel good. After everything that I put you through, this is what self love looks like. <laughs> Breathe. And let's slowly move into Shavasana. You guys have earned it. Nice job. Let yourself just. Get comfortable, open up the legs, open up the feet, let your head be heavy. Let your whole body just melt down into the floor and just breathe here. Noticing that breath moving in and out, filling your whole body up, fresh oxygen, renewing the cells of your body. Allowing the legs and the feet to be completely relaxed. Allowing the hands, the fingers, the arms, heavy. Feel the whole back of your body just sinking down. And allowing the whole front of your body to relax, the chest, your abdomen, your ribs, your neck. And then relaxing all the facial muscles, your whole head. 
let it go. Relax the whole body. Relax the whole body. Relax the whole body. Slowly, gently begin to deepen your breathing. Maybe breathing into your heart center and then beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes and just waking up the body, nice and slow, moving the wrists and the ankles around. As you inhale, let's reach up. Extend your legs in the opposite direction. Give yourself a good stretch here. And then slowly bending your knees, rolling over to the side and then pressing yourself up into a seated position down on the floor. So either hero pose or sukhasana, easy pose. Nice tall grounded seat. Allowing your eyes to close. Lifting the crown of your head. Allowing yourself to bring awareness to the chitta kosh, the mind space located between the eyebrows. Just begin to deepen the breathing as you inhale to expand your abdomen. And as you exhale, contracting. Slowly increasing the speed. And deepening the breathing even more. And slowing it down, keeping it nice and deep. Maybe finding a pause between the breaths. And then letting your breath come back to normal. Slow and rhythmic. Allowing yourself to come up with one word, if you'd like, an uplifting word that maybe, as you set the intentions earlier, maybe it reflects that intention. Allowing yourself to repeat that word over and over again. Softening the eyes and softening the face. Allowing it to be your focus. See how that word makes your entire being feel. What sensations are you experiencing from focusing on this one word? Maybe it's a physical sensation, maybe it's emotional or mental. Just acknowledge it. You don't have to analyze it. You're just observing that experience. And again, as the thoughts will come, the distractions such as sound come and go, let them come. Let them go. Come back to your focus, come back to your word, 
come back to that physical or emotional or mental sensation. Slowly and gently begin to deepen your breathing, just bringing that awareness back. Drawing the hands, the palms together at the heart center as you lift the heart to meet the thumbs, as you relax the shoulders. And feeling your being with the feeling of gratitude and appreciation for anything in your life that feels like a blessing. Let yourself acknowledge all the good in your life. Notice how that feels in your body. And taking time to send yourself some love. And maybe later today you can think about how you can show yourself that you love yourself, whatever that means to you, whether it's writing down in a journal, a reflection, or cooking yourself a nice meal, or doing something that you enjoy, just you and you alone, and really showing yourself, not just telling yourself, I love you, but show yourself that you love yourself with actions, with compassion, Thank you so much for sharing your morning, your beautiful energy, and your practice with me. The divine light in me honors and recognizes the divine light in you. Namaste.